Have you ever thought about creating an animation video, but thought it was too complicated? What if I told you that you can make stunning animations right inside Canva, and it's easier than you think? Curious? Then stick around, because in today's video, we're sharing a few secrets about creating eye-catching animated videos with Canva that will wow your audience. So, today I want to walk you through the steps to make your own animated video here inside Canva. First of all, let's go to YouTube video, click on it. And then once it opens, these are our pages. So you can keep adding pages by just clicking on this button here. We're going to make a simple video. Now you can use these same tips for any kind of video you want to make. It could be for your business, for school, for your parents, for your children, whatever you want. I'm going to make a short video today about the weather for children. So we're going to keep things simple. The first thing I'm going to do is go to Elements and choose Landscape because I want some backgrounds here for the pages in my movie. So, let's go to Graphics. Let's click on this one. That's a nice pretty sunny day. So, let's take this and spread it out a little bit more. There we go. And that's going to be my background. We've got a few clouds up here. I also want to add a few more clouds, so we'll type clouds. Let's try to match what we already have here. And this one looks pretty good, so let's just add it. I also want to animate it. So, I'm going to click on it right here where it says animate. You have several choices of things you can make it do. I'm going to choose this one here to actually make it move across the screen. Now, click on the B, grab the image, hold your mouse down, and just drag the image you want to move whichever direction you want it to go. Just like that. All right. And you also have choices. You can choose smooth or steady. But for now, I kind of like it being a little jumpy like this. I'm going to leave it like that. You can also change the speed and make it as fast or as slow as you want it to go. I'm going to keep it slow. Now, I'm going to click done because that looks fine. All right, now I need someone walking. So, now you can see some people already animated. I'm going to choose this guy right here. I'll resize him to fit in with this landscape. So let's pull him over just a little bit so he's off page. Not entirely, but almost. Then, we're going to click animate again and click the B. Now I'm going to click on this, hold the button down and kind of drag him where I want him to go. All right, and there he goes. Okay, that looks pretty good. We'll click done. Next, I also want a sun. So let's click on the sun and see what we have. Okay, this one worked. We'll put him in here. Actually, I'm going to put it behind this cloud, but I'm going to put it on top of the cloud for now. I want it to appear behind the cloud. I would like the cloud to roll over the sun. So here is how I do that. Click on position, come over to layers, and then you're going to take the cloud and put it on top of the sun. And then now, as the scene is happening, you can see the cloud is on top of the sun. All right, for our next scene, let's do something cold. So let's choose a winter one. And we're going to just blow it up to fit the page like we want. Nice. And I would like to add some kids. Let's say skating. Okay, maybe we should say ice skating. Yes. Okay, any of these. Let's click on animated and see what we find. Yes, so that'll work for now. I want a pool down here. I could hunt for a pool, but what I'm going to do right now is something a little different. First thing, I'm going to add my bear. 
and I'm going to put him down here for now. And let's get the frog and put him down here too. Okay, let's go back to elements and let's click on that. Now I'm just gonna go grab a circle and kind of squish it down and make it kind of this shape. And I'm going to put it there. Okay, there's our pond. Let's change the color a little bit. And I'm going to change where the pool is. Now you see it's on top of the skaters. So let's change that. Let's put the pool down there. Nice. All right, so let's get the skaters. We're gonna flip her, one going that way, and the other character is going the other way. Now, let's take this and animate it again. So we'll grab the bee, just click on it, and there we go. We'll make this a little bit bigger. So that's a pretty talented skater. All right, let's do the same thing here. We're going to click animate, click on the bee, and we're going to have this little bear, maybe not going quite so far. Just go back and forth. Yes, that looks good and we're done. All right, now let's add a few plants in the front. So we'll go back to elements and we'll type winter plants to see what we get. Go to graphics and we're going to add a few of these depending on what we choose. I want to cover up some of that empty space in the front. We'll duplicate these a few times, just to make it look better, especially where the pond is. Now we need some snow. So, let's add it. We will look for animations, Hey, that one works well. We'll go with that one. So we will make it fit more of the page. If you click transparency, you can also change how you want it to appear here. We'll leave it a little bit darker. There we go, so let's watch. Nice. All right, now let's do another one. So, let's make a rainy scene. So, we'll put the tree there like that. Okay, and even though it's nice and sunny, well, we'll fix that in just a minute. So, let's add some birds. Maybe we can make this little one actually fly? He's already flapping his wings, but we're just going to animate him too. Okay, click on the bee, and then we'll make him fly across the screen. And we'll click done. That will work. Let's add a few little birds on the ground. Oh, this one will work. We'll add it. Maybe it's hunting for something to eat. And we can duplicate it so it can have a friend. All right, now we need the rain. Now, you can do this multiple ways. I'm going to try this one. I'll show you two different ways you can make rain. One way, we're going to duplicate this image since it doesn't fill the whole screen. And we'll put them side by side. And then we're going to click both of them and group them together. Next, we want to animate it. So I'm going to choose Flickr. There we go. And you see on the screen there, it kind of looks like it's raining, right? That's one way to do it. So here's another trick you can use. Let's get rid of these for now. If you go to videos and look for rain. Let's choose this one and add it to the page. So now you see I've covered the whole screen with it and you're probably wondering, what? Now, click the video, go up to transparency, and we're gonna lighten it up a lot. Okay, now when the video plays, it almost looks like it's sleeting or hailing, but this works for now. 
It also made our little video page longer, so we're going to shorten it up a bit. Now let's look at the rain. Poor birds. Now I'm going to take each of these pages and make them a little bit longer. I'd also like to add something else to make it a little more interesting as viewers travel from one slide to the next. If you click here, you can add a transition between pages. If you click on the plus sign, you can add a page. We want to add transitions, and these are our choices. And as you just roll your mouse over them, you can see how they react. For now, I'm just going to choose a dissolve. You can change the amount of time for it. I'm going to go up to about one second. And for this one, let's add another transition. How about a slide? We can change the direction we want those to go in. I'm just going to make it go in this direction. And I'll also change the amount of time that the transition takes. Let's add some music. I already have some music inside my upload section, so I'm just going to click on audio and I'm going to choose a piece of music. So let's move this playhead back to the beginning because wherever this is, that's where it's going to add the music. If you want to listen to something, just click on the little triangle here and you can actually hear it. But if you want to add it to the video, just click it here. I'm going to leave it as is for the moment. So right click on it if you need to change your volume levels. And if you want to add a narration, you add it basically the same way as you added the music. But we won't cover that in this video since it is already so long. Alright, I'm finished with my video, and I want to download it. So go to File, click Download, make sure you have MP4 chosen, and don't change the other settings. Anvo will download it to your computer. It's downloading right now. I'll come back in a second and show you the final product. Here it is. I love to walk in the spring. I love to skate in the winter. I love to watch it rain. And now you have it, a completed video. Now you can take all of these methods I just shared with you and create a kid's story or something very professional for a business. And if this video was helpful to you, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Until next time, keep creating, keep innovating, and keep making it with AI. Thanks for watching.